and Swiss Burger, the general store on 24 in Lewis. All right, question of the day. Jess, you got a new email in. Hey, Bill and Jess, I debated writing this and writing into you guys for a while, but now I'm just at the end of my rope and I do need some advice. Please help. My husband is an avid weed smoker. And he has lied to me numerous times. And when I say numerous, it's like over 50 times that oh he has quit and he doesn't smoke anymore. But I always find out the truth. Here's the situation. Sometimes I'll find little small pieces of it on the balcony. And sometimes I can even smell it. But the past three times have been very, very serious because he was fired from his job. He's a truck driver. And this is job number three that he has lost mm. because he keeps smoking weed and he won't stop. He can't get into another truck um, and get another driving job until he goes through this program where he has to attend 10 NA meetings and see a therapist at least seven times and then take a drug test. But he will not stop smoking. So even when he's done with this program, he still won't be able to give clean urine. We're about to lose our house. Because without his income, we can't pay our bills. I'm disabled and getting denied disability. And he just doesn't seem to care because he will not stop. We just recently got a five-day notice. And I tried to talk to him. I've tried to take, I've tried to be there for him. I've asked, you know, what can I do to help you stop? But he just says that it's addictive and he can't stop, which I don't understand because people always say that weed is natural and it comes from the earth. So how is it addictive? I'm considering leaving my husband because I can't keep going through this with him losing a job, not having a job, having this addiction to weed. Am I being too rash by leaving or am I doing the right thing? I mean, this is terrible with him yeah. losing the jobs, three jobs now. He's a truck driver. You know, they're going to check your urine. Now they're requiring him to go to 10 NA meetings, see a therapist at least seven times, take a drug test, and then. He can get the truck back. Now, meanwhile, though, marijuana is getting ready to go legal in Maryland. But she says he won't. As of July the 1st. Urine. Yeah, but I'm, I think certain jobs, I mean, if you have to be clean and you have to be drug free, it doesn't matter if the drug is legal, right? If your job requires you. That's going to be a question. I mean, it's a truck driver. Yeah, that's going to be. Yeah, you can't you know like, I mean? it's like you can't drink and drive, so you can't smoke and drive, you know? Right. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that he is smoking and driving, but if they have to do a urine test and it right. keeps coming back positive, they... Are, but how, how's... I, I'd like to know... I got to ask um, my buddy works at the dispensary about that. Like, how, how are like they going to handle that with, like, jobs? Because it is legal, but it stays in your system for, like, 24 hours or whatever. Are they going to be able to... Oh, that's it? Only 24 hours? I thought it was 30 days. Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I thought it stayed in your system for at least 24 hours. Oh, let me look it up. I'm pretty okay. sure. I always thought and heard it's 30 days. All right. Well, maybe I'm talking out of the side of my neck. I normally do. So maybe. <laughs> no, don't. Hold no. on. Okay, well, I mean, I know that people have like these home remedies and things that they do to like flush. Their yeah, but even if it is, well, if it's 30 days, that's even more. How long? So if you smoke like on the weekend and you work Monday through Friday, but you don't smoke, but it's legal, you only smoke the legal amount. Is that fair? Can you get fired from your job? This is a whole nother discussion. I want to focus on I the mean, email. If, yeah, but if you have a job that requires you to have a clean drug test, yeah, but I don't you, know if I don't but think when, that matters, does it? Yeah, but when it's legal. Right. Then that that goes out the window, right? If you're if you're only if you only test positive 90 for 90 days in your hair, it's detectable up to 90 days in your hair. It can stay from 1 day to a month in your system. Okay, so it could 1 day. Okay, that's where I got that from. 1 day to a month. Okay. It's, um, the drug can still be detected in your blood for up to 25 days after your last use. 493 texted in. Can you get a medical card? Yeah, possibly. 880, weed is not addictive. It's all a mental thing. But if you won't quit for the sake of not losing everything, then she needs to leave. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, 422, 30 days. 717, it can stay in your system for 30 days. Yeah, but here, here's, here's my thing. Like, I don't think, like, she's got to be built for that. I don't think there's anything wrong if she ain't ready for that. 
type of relationship. Because if he is going to smoke weed and she don't want that, that's okay to end it. Legal or not. You know, it's the same thing with like alcohol. If someone drinks a lot, you can end it and that's okay, even though it's legal and all that. With this, though, it sounds like her biggest concern is like him and the job. And he supports the family and she's disabled. But he's also lying. Denied disability. The lying part, I think. I don't think she likes it. I don't think she she's talking about the smell. She's talking about the bits on the porch. She's talking yeah, about because he's telling her, no, I don't do it. Yeah, no, I don't do it. So uh, four, nine, three, I have a medical card. And once I show it uh, at pre-employment drug screens, they just mark it negative. Not sure about a truck driver, though. Yeah, I don't know about a truck. But again, driver. what happens on July the 1st in Maryland when it becomes legal, recreational? That's my question. If anybody knows, 302-858-5117. Yeah, because that's going to be, that's, that's going to be something. I wonder if, let me look this up. Uh, 717, how long have they been together? Yeah, I mean, look, there's, if, I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. If the guy likes to smoke weed, he likes to smoke weed. Just the same thing if somebody likes to drink, they like to drink. But, yeah, if it's affecting your everyday life if it's affecting what you do if that's your priority over going to your job there's a problem yeah and you not know? being able to keep a job that's right huge you know you got to do it responsibly and now in order for him to get his job back he has to follow this program and that includes 10 na meetings see a therapist at least seven times then take a drug test and she knows he's gonna fail well, my question, and he will not stop. My question is, on July first, is the jobs that are they going to have to? Are they going to be able to require that stuff? Yeah, I don't know. How can we find out? Yeah, if anybody knows, three zero two eight five eight five one one seven. Let's see here. Um, there's still going to be some jobs that will drug test for it, and some jobs will not allow it, even if it's still legal. But are they able to legally do that if it's if you're not smoking on the job or if you're not high at the moment? Yeah, I don't know. Because it's because how do they you can know? buy it over the counter, and if it's in your system from a week ago, and you were on vacation, but they drug test, can they legally fire you? Mm. You see what I'm saying? I, I know. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I just don't have an answer. I wish I did. I mean, look. Let's just say, you know. I'll just use me as an example. Okay, let's say I go on vacation. My family, my wife and I would go on vacation or whatever next week. Okay, and smoke some weed. I come back to work. Uh-oh, guys, surprise drug test. Surprise pee test. Mm-hmm. I'm not smoking now. I haven't smoked in a week. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, I show know. up positive for marijuana. I think it depends what you do for a living and what... I mean, I, what do they require? I don't know. That's just my question. Um, somebody texted in. He just needs to do the right thing and stop being so hard head. Yes. I think that's the, that's true. That's yes, the thing. That is true. Uh, they can't fire or suspend if you have a card. Okay. So if you have the card, then, you know, I guess any job can do whatever they want. So. Some companies have zero tolerance drug policy, and their policy is beyond the law. Some companies what? Have a zero drug policy. Oh, good morning, Power 1017. You got a comment? Yes. I was um, calling about the topic you're on right now. Yes, yeah, go and, ahead. Uh, Question of the day. They get federal grant money. So regardless, they're still going to be testing. What, like different say jobs? Again, say it again. Different jobs that receive what? The grant funding? Uh, federal grant funding, they still have to test. So you still have to be clean. Okay. Um, but Even in, if you have a medical marijuana card? Yes. Okay. You will still be terminated. Wait, even well, if well, you uh, have a medical card. Wait, 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 wait. That's, uh, How can they do that if you have a card from your doctor? Because a medical not, card. Because I, it's only legal under the state it is not legal under the federal law but you, oh, state law not federal law but you have exactly. a medical but you have a medical card it still doesn't make any difference until the federal government said it's 
recreational legal, then you still you still can't. You still can't until the federal government says it's legal. So certain jobs. So if you get federal money, you you have to still keep that. What do you do? What's your what, do you mean? what is your what is your occupation? Where did you uh, or do you work for um, the state it, or do you work for the? It, it was a it was a state and federal. They get state and federal grants. But where do you work? What, what, what's your occupation? If you don't mind me asking. I'm I'm no longer there now, but it was at Delmarva Community Services in Cambridge, Maryland. Oh, Delmarva okay. Community Services. Okay, so yes. e- even if you have a medical card from a doctor, yes, you will still be terminated. If you test dirty because the federal government has not said that it's illegal. Even so a truck driving cars. job, do you know other occupations that are going to be that way? Um, Where no matter what. I would say, I would say any job that um, you're going to be driving, you're going to be dealing with kids. I would say like school bus drivers and stuff like that are more, more than likely still going to have to test. Because it's just like alcohol. Even though um, it's legal, Still can't drink and drive. Right. Well, the, yeah, and then that's what I was so, comparing it to. I'm just having can't. like a hard time. Like I'm just having a hard time understanding if you get prescribed this from a doctor to treat um, sciatica or, or you know scoliosis, yeah. scoliosis or whatever, and you're you're really doing this that you could mm-hmm. still get fired from your job for taking the prescription to help with your. You know, exactly. certain occupations, I, I, yeah, though. Certain yeah, occupations. Now, that to me is ridiculous. I, I mean, now, if you're doing it recreational, that's a whole nother thing. But if you're doing right. this and it's. And the doctor says you have to have it. Correct. I totally agree with you. Yeah. But you will still be terminated for getting federal money. Okay. Hey, I, I appreciate that insight on that. Thanks for calling in, okay? You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, let's see here. Um, even certain prescriptions cannot be used while driving. I, I, I understand that. I'm not saying that not while driving, you know, but I'm just saying like at all. Cause it stays in your system for 30 days mm-hmm. up to 30 days. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Three, three, Oh, calm down, Bill. They'll never fire you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't <laughs> a career and our occupation does not require a six six eight. Depends on how crooked your HR manager is. Some oh employees get gosh. terminated on the spot, others get a slap on the wrist. Hashtag backs. All right, so you've been through something. Three oh two eight five eight five one one seven. Question of the day. Girl writes in. She's having problems with her man. He's at the end of her rope. He, he lies. Advice. You know, it's disrupting his job, his job because of this, um, you know, and, and he's lying to he her. He has to go through this program. You know, it's affecting them. They've received a notice at their home. She's, you know, disabled. She can't work and they're going to lose their house. And yeah. he just won't stop. Uh, shout out to my man Ray checking in. If the fellow's losing jobs because he can't stop the reefer, it shows his priorities are a mess. Move along. Yes, that's my yeah, answer. I agree I with know. that. I know. That's, that's the best shame. answer. Mm. You know, I mean, all right. Set aside the whole legal, not legal. Will you get fired? Will they drug test you? That's a whole nother topic. Mm-hmm. Sticking to this specific about their relationship. That's the right answer. If he keeps losing jobs because he can't stop the reefer, it shows yeah, his priorities I mean, come are a mess. On. Come on. You know, what's more important? Obviously, to him, the oh, reefer is more important. You know? So, 753. You want to continue to comment? 302 858 5117.